Hey nerds, Bevan here. Welcome back to my channel and happy Halloween everybody. I am here in my official Hogwarts robes representing Hufflepuff. Uh, but today I'm actually doing a challenge video given to me by Little Nerd Busters, who you should go follow right now on Instagram and on YouTube. Subscribe to his channel real quick. And it's the, uh, whatever, the, the 10 action figure challenge or something like that. Essentially, I'm here to talk about my 10 favorite action figures in my collection in under 10 minutes. Now, I don't know if this is actually part of the challenge or not, um, but I am not gonna do high-end collectibles. Everything here you can get in the toy aisle uh, at one point or another in your life at a Toys R Us or a Walmart or anything like that. So let's get into it. The shitty thing about this is, is like I just sold all my Marvel Legends and Marvel Select and DC figures and Star Wars six inch stuff. So like my action figure collection is pretty limited to what you see behind me, which is mostly wrestling. So you're gonna get a lot of wrestling figures here today. The first thing I will talk about is actually my girlfriend's action figure. And it is this World of Nintendo Bowser from Jack Pacific. Um, I actually really like the World of Nintendo line. This is the only one we have right now. I would love to get more. It's just not a high priority for me. Uh, I do have some Amiibos to represent my Nintendo characters, um, but this figure is really, really cool. As I said before, I kind of sold all my Marvel stuff, except for a couple, which I'm gonna show you here right now. This first one is a really oddball choice. It is a Toy Biz, the only Toy Biz legend I've ever had, uh, Age of Apocalypse, Sabretooth, and you will notice here, there is a squiggle of a signature on there uh, by actor Tyler Maine, local Saskatchewan boy actually, and he played Sabretooth in the very first X-Men movie, uh, met him at a local convention here and had him sign this. It was a very random, spur of the moment purchase and decision on my part at the time, and uh, I still got it, I'll still keep it because it's just a cool memory and story and local connection. Now the other Marvel figure I'm keeping is this Marvel Legends Spider-Gwen. Um, in a previous video, I talked about how I was getting out of the superhero action figure game and I was gonna keep Spider-Gwen, and I did and I am. Um, I am planning on maybe having a little Spider-Gwen collection uh, because she doesn't have much stuff, so it should be pretty easy to keep up with. And uh, my dogs all say hi. A couple months ago, I got a whole bunch of Simpsons figures. You can see there, hopefully. And let's talk about a couple of those. So I picked two. I picked Chief Wiggum for nostalgic reasons because this was the first Simpsons World of Springfield figure I ever bought for myself. I got it in Wizards Emporium in Whitehorse, Yukon uh, for the low, low price of probably $19.99 at the time because it was Whitehorse and everything's expensive there. Uh, I love this figure line so much and Wiggum is one of my favorite characters, which is why he was the first one I got, which is why I had to get him in this lot that I purchased a couple of months ago. And the other one I'll talk about today is the comic book guy. This guy's not in very good condition, but he's one of my favorite characters of all time on any TV show. I love his sarcasm. I love how friggin' internet nerdy he was before the internet was really a thing. And I guarantee, there's at least five of this guy watching right now. Let's talk about wrestling figures, guys. Just like the Simpsons figures, I'm gonna talk about WWF Hasbro. I'm gonna talk about one from nostalgic reasons and one that uh, I didn't have before. I didn't have Comic Book Guy in my original collection. But let's talk about Hasbro's for a bit, you guys. Now the figure I'm selecting for nostalgic reasons is this Series 3 Hulk Hogan. He's in rough shape. Um, but I loved this figure as a kid. It's, it's my favorite of the Hulk Hogans in Hasbro and there's four or five different versions you can get of, of Hulk Hogan. Um, and I just like this one the best. I think it has the best face sculpt. I think it has the best body pose and sculpt. And I think it's just the best overall Hulk Hogan figure of that time. Now the figure I didn't have in my original collection as a kid, I did get it uh, in high school when I was more into collecting as a hobby instead of just buying toys. Um, of course, I sold all my Hasbros when I went to university and I'm getting back into them now. But Series 4, Brett the Hitman Heart, in case you couldn't tell by anything in my life, like this autographed t-shirt over my shoulder, 
Uh, Bret Hart is my childhood hero. I love this figure. It's, um, it's a little out of scale for the rest of the Hasbro line, but it's just one of those ones you gotta have if you're only gonna have a handful of Hasbros. Let's move up a generation of wrestling figures and talk about Jack's Bone Crunchers. And my favorite that I've got so far right now in my, uh, my newer collection is the Series 2 Shawn Michaels in the red tights. I'm not gonna lie, I do prefer the Series 1 release with the blue. I don't have that one, so this one fits the bill just fine. Skipping a couple generations of wrestling figures and going to the current Mattel figures, the Elites. The first Elite I ever got, and the only flashback one I've kept, is this WrestleMania 30 Bret the Hitman Hart, representing his uh, title defense at WrestleMania 12 against Shawn Michaels. Um, there's nothing absolutely special about this figure other than that it's the first Elite I got and that it's Bret Hart. Over, other than that, it's just a, a standard Elite figure from Mattel. And then going from a childhood favorite to a current favorite, we're talking about the face that runs the place, the current reigning and defending WWE World Champion, the phenomenal AJ Styles. Now, I don't know what series this is from. One of the more recent ones, 54 or 55 maybe, um, here in the blue tights here. I love this figure so much. I like that it has an option for a removable hood, which you can have either hanging down like I have right now, or there's another attachment. It can be up over his head. I much prefer the way it is now. It does come with the, uh, the world title, which I display over the shoulder as such, but I love AJ Styles. I love this figure. I love the blue. I love colors on my toy shelf and in wrestling. Too many guys just walk out wearing black trunks now. But AJ Styles, he is the man. So that is my 10 favorite action figures currently in my toy collection on my shelves, not counting glass case stuff. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, comment below out of these top 10 here, which one was your favorite? I'd love to hear what you guys think of my toy collection. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Bevan Boychuk. And until next time, folks, I will see you next time, folks.